Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, I got some uh, coins I would like to show you. A buddy of mine came over and dropped off some coins. Like, hey, maybe you might want to show some of these coins to your buddies in uh, YouTube land. And I said, all right, cool, what do you got? So some of them are mine and some of them are his, but uh, we're going to go through uh, some coins here. And, and just before I start here, I want to thank all of you who are PMing me for deals here and there. I haven't gotten to uh, a bunch of them uh, because spot price has been going up and down like crazy, you know. So last I checked, uh, gold was down uh, ten dollars today. So who knows where it's going to go, right? And uh, I believe there there are um, a lot of uh, gold below spot deals. So I will put those uh, videos up a little later. But uh, let's get on with the show here. Showcasing number one is the two ounce 2008 Kukubara. Uh, very hard to find. I, I see them on eBay uh, every now and then for a good price. But for now, um, uh, what do you call it? It's, it's like 180, sometimes 160 around there. And uh, I would like to... Uh, thank uh, two people who have been able to secure these coins for me and they have another one here which is the 2008 uh, Kukubera Gilded okay so that's very nice uh, I know these Gilded uh, Kukubera's uh, 2008 in particular is highly sought after by many of the collectors out there for kooks and uh, yeah the two people that uh, were able to source uh, these uh, coins for me from Australia. I have a contact over there. Uh, I just uh, mentioned his uh, initials uh, TB and KK. Thank you very much for sourcing the coins for me. Uh, this is uh, quite a, a, a nice find here and, and the prices were pretty good from Australia. So so these are two of the uh, uh, kookaburras that I have here. I'll put these aside over there. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll put it like this so you guys can see. All right. So the next one, which also came from Australia, is is the rooster. And this is the one ounce. And it comes with this um, pin thingy here, which is interesting because I think uh, the dog comes with one and maybe the pig, I forget. Um... Maybe two or three of these came with the pin for some reason. I don't know why. And, uh, you know, it comes with the same, the, the box and COA, the sleeve and all that. So, um, yeah, so that's one, that one ounce that I have. And I think I might keep this one uh, for a long time because uh, unless I get, maybe I'll get them graded. Um, I am the rooster, so really nice find, okay? And uh, I'll leave it up like that. Don't, don't fall. Don't fall. All right. So the next coin is the GOAT Tokelau Proof Coin. Uh, there was a sale for these coins um, I got a, couple, a week or two ago. Uh, for a Proof Coin, it was like twenty four ninety five. So I figured this was a good deal. I picked up one and I picked up more. For other people right and these will be going out to some of my buddies in the Google Hangout all right so that is the goat Tokelau proof coin and I don't think the sale is on anymore I, I checked it was back to $39 so um, if you can find it for a good price this is great it's a very nice shiny proof uh, for $25 all right so on to the next coin which is from my buddy here who dropped it off. I don't know what it is, but it looks nice. Some kind of bridge that goes across. I mean, it's it's from China because it came from like this box here inside all this Chinese writing. Uh, but I don't have any other info on it. And even if there was, I can't read it. So uh, some kind of Chinese... Uh, uh, famous place I guess right it's very good detail on this and I tell you 
uh, salivate is going to like this because it's thick. Right? It's thick and it's got some writing. It's upside down here. There's some kind of writing on here. Yeah. Thick coin. And then the back of this, oops, upside down. It's really cool. It's got that 3D effect going all the way into the back. Um, a YouTuber, Sam A, I think he might have done a video uh, to, about these uh, Chinese coins. Maybe not this one in particular, but maybe you know about this um, interesting coin here. So, yeah, uh, mystery. I have to find out exactly what this, this is called. I'll, I'll put it in the description once I find it, so that if you guys want to get it, uh, I believe... It was like 200 I don't know, I, I, somewhere around the $200 uh, price range. But I, I can't remember exactly what my buddy told me. He said he got it for around, you know, 200 bucks. So, all right. So, on to the next coin. Which, can I put this here? All right. So, the next coin is... The moon coin All right uh, I've done a video about this uh, a while back maybe about a month ago uh, and my buddy I guess he bought one and he got it and he chopped it off it's got a nice you know moon decoration on the, the sleeve here and it's got the side here too All right so let's open it nice wooden box Oops, I did it upside down. So it's supposed to be like this. Uh, and then you got the little moon crater little thingy in there. That's an actual crust of the moon, which is pretty cool. And look, it's concave. Huh? Just like the baseball coin. And it has, you know, all the moon crater... Uh, realistically represented except for I don't know why the Queen is there but it's there <laughs> Queen does not belong on the moon the Queen could be in coins in the earth but not on the moon okay that's just my opinion so it says solar system moon coin this is the first of the series um, I don't know what planets will be coming next maybe Mars, who knows, so um, this series will probably do well um, there's some on eBay right now going up for a couple hundred dollars, maybe 250, 300 bucks so it is expensive for a one ounce coin but you know it, it does have a good fanfare because people like solar systems and planets and stuff so that is what I have um, for today. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, so that's that's it for today. Uh, the certificate doesn't have a number or anything. It just has a certificate saying the mintage is uh, 686 pieces. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I will be back with uh, some updates on deals that are probably brewing and uh, we'll be having more releases coming up in the week of May. Thanks.